Hi, I'm Jesse with General Hydroponics. I'm going to talk a little bit today about how to properly mix our classic three-part flora series advanced nutrient system. Uh, it is very, very important, first and foremost, never to mix these three in their concentrated form. You don't want to mix them together in a concentrate and then put it into water. You'll immediately have precipitants falling out of solution and that throws off the whole ball of wax. And you also want to always mix the flora micro first into plenty of water. You want to get the total amount of water you're going to be using, then start with the micro. And it's important also to shake these very well before mixing them just to ensure that all the elements are evenly dispersed throughout the solution. Always make sure that the safety seal is intact when you buy it. If it's open, chances are it could have been contaminated. You don't want to use it. Get yourself a clean glass vessel. Here's a little guy that's got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, and 140 milliliters. Good thing to know is 5 milliliters equals 1 teaspoon, 15 milliliters equals 1 tablespoon, and 30 fluid ounces is, I mean 30 milliliters is 1 fluid ounce. So I've got 10 gallons of water here. Uh, if your water source is limited, if you have well water, if you have hard water, you're going to want to use our hard water flora micro. And basically the, the parameters we go by is if you have over 200 parts per million, total parts per million in your water, we call that hard water, or over 70 parts per million of calcium. So the hard water micro has less calcium in it, which will avoid problems of things bonding, falling out of solution, getting lockout. So I'm going to follow our basic table here that's on the side of the bottles. It's listed in mils per gallon, um, I'm sorry, teaspoons per gallon. So for a basic grow formula, you're going to want to use 5 milliliters of grow, 10 milliliters of micro, and 15 milliliters of bloom, and those are all per gallon ratios. So I'm going to do the math. I've got 10 gallons of water. I want to use 10 mils per gallon of micro, so that's going to be 100 mils. We have it. It's also important never to put anything into the bottle. If you're going to use a pipette or something to try and extract it out of the bottle, it's, I wouldn't recommend it because anytime you stick something in there, you're running the risk of contamination. So there we go. You want to rinse out your container after each use because, again, you don't want to mix them in their concentrated form. Get that rinsed out, please. And it's good to let it sit for a few minutes. Get something clean to stir it with. Um, a good stainless steel kitchen spoon, large cooking spoon works great. Um, if you're doing smaller batches, obviously, you know, any old stirring utensil will do, but make sure it's clean. Next, I'm going to add my Flora Grow. That one we're doing at 5 mils per gallon. So I'm going to add 50 milliliters to my 10 gallons of water. stir. And lastly, the bloom. 15 mils per gallon. I'm sorry, I may have said earlier that I was doing a basic grow formula. I'm in fact doing a basic bloom formula. 5 mils per gallon of grow, 10 mils per gallon of micro, 15 mils per gallon of bloom. Rinse again. Now, of course, after you mix your nutrients, you're going to want to take a pH reading and see where your pH is at. 
we'll get to that in a later segment. For now, I'm just going over the basic mixing instructions. So again, 150 milliliters to 10 gallons of water. The cylinder here only goes up to 140 and doesn't have 10. So I'm going to do 120 plus 30. See, that's pretty simple. It's just a few key rules you want to always abide by. Don't mix them in their concentrated form. Don't contaminate the bottle with anything by putting in anything in the bottle. Other than that, you now have a complete fertilizer good for flowering, fruiting plants in the reproductive stage. There you have it.